linear equation in this lecture we will discuss about linear equation in one variable and linear equation in two variables are first degree equations if i write 4x plus y is equal to 6 in this equation there are three terms 4x y and 6 the x and y are known as a variables while 6 is the constant and 4 is the coefficient of variable x the highest power of the variable x is 1 and the highest power of the variable y is also 1 hence all the variables in this equation have the highest power 1 therefore this equation is known as a one degree equation our linear equation let me give you another example 2xy plus 5 is equal to 10 this equation has also three terms 2xy 5 and 10 the term 2xy is considered as a one term the power of x is 1 and the power of y is also 1 Hence, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Thus, the highest power of this equation is 2. Therefore, it is not 1 degree equation. Hence, it is also not a linear equation. Now, again, if I write 3x plus 4yz plus xz is equal to 80. In this equation, there are 4 terms. The power of first term x is 1. The power of second term y is 1 and the power of z is also 1. Hence 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Thus the power of second term is 2. The power of third term x is 1 and the power of z is also 1. Hence 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Thus the power of third term is also 2. So we can say that the highest power of this equation is 2. Hence it is neither one degree equation nor linear equation. Similarly, if I write 2i plus 4 upon x is equal to 10. Can you guess the highest power of this equation? Let me calculate it for you. To simplify this equation, we multiply both sides by x. We get x into 2y plus x 4 upon x is equal to 10x. Here x and x are cancelled out. As a result, we get 2xy plus 4 is equal to 10x. Now there are three terms in this equation. The power of variables in first term 2xy is evaluated as follow. The power of x is 1 and the power of y is also 1. Thus 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Hence the highest power of first term is 2. So it is a second degree equation. Therefore it is neither one degree equation nor linear equation. Now let me give you one last example. 3a plus 4b plus 7c is equal to 8d. Can you guess its highest power? I hope so. There are four terms in this equation. The power of a is 1. The power of b is 1. The power of c is 1. And the power of d is also 1. Hence the highest degree of this equation is 1. Thus it is 1 degree equation as well as it is also linear equation. Now let me teach you that how can we solve linear equation in one variable. For example, if a linear equation 2x plus 20 is equal to 50 is given and we are asked to find the value of x, then it will be calculated as follow. Remember that this side of the equality sign is known as a left hand side while this side of the equality sign is known as a right hand side. Now shifting plus 20 from the left hand side to the right hand side. As a result, 
the positive sign of 20 will be changed into negative sign. Hence 2x is equal to 50 minus 20 or 2x is equal to 30. Now dividing both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is equal to 30 divided by 2. As a result, we get x is equal to 15. Now let me give you another example. 30 minus y is equal to 2y. We know that there are three terms in this equation. But there are two terms in which there is the same variable. I mean y. Hence we will arrange this equation in a way in which y should be made as a one term. Thus we will shift minus y from the left hand side to the right hand side. As a result, we will get 30 is equal to 2y plus y or 30 is equal to 3y. Now dividing both sides by 3, 30 divided by 3 is equal to 3y divided by 3. Thus we get y is equal to 10. Now let me teach you one advanced or multiple steps type of linear equation and one variable. 2 upon 3 and to x minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. In this type of linear equation, first of all shift the constant to one side and variables to another side. Thus we are going to shift plus 4 from the left hand side to the right hand side. So 2 upon 3 x minus 1 is equal to 5 minus 4 or 2 upon 3 and to x minus 1 is equal to 1. Now it is time to terminate 3 as a denominator. To do so we multiply both sides by 3. 3 and to 2 divided by 3 and to x minus 1 is equal to 1 times 3. 3 and 3 is cancelled out. As a result, we get 2 and 2 x minus 1 is equal to 3 or 2 x minus 2 is equal to 3. Now again we will shift minus 2 from the left hand side to the right hand side. Thus we get 2 x is equal to 3 plus 2 or 2 x is equal to 5. So dividing both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is equal to 5 divided by 2. 2 and 2 are again cancelled out. As a result, we get x is equal to 5 divided by 2. Now let me teach you the solution of linear equation and two variables. For example, x plus y is equal to 8 and x minus y is equal to 6. Let I call this equation number 1. And I call this equation number 2. Now there are different methods of solving such type of linear equation. But I am going to solve this problem through a basic way. Now look at equation number 1 where the coefficient of y is plus 1. And then look at equation number 2 where the coefficient of y is minus 1. So if we Add equation number 1 and equation number 2 plus y and minus y will be cancelled out and we will get only x variable and then solving one variable equation will be pretty easy job. Therefore adding equation number 1 and equation number 2 x plus y is equal to add plus x minus y is equal to 6. Here plus y and minus y are cancelled out. We get 2x is equal to 14. Now dividing both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is equal to 14 divided by 2. As a result, we get x is equal to 7. Now what about the value of y? We can now easily calculate the value of y by substitution method. By putting value of x in either equation number 1 or in equation number 2. Let me first put the value of x in equation number 1 and then in equation number 2. Now equation number 1 is x plus y is equal to 8. 
we know that x is equal to 7. Thus putting x is equal to 7 in equation number 1. 7 plus y is equal to 8. Now shift plus 7 from the left hand side to the right hand side. y is equal to 8 minus 7 or y is equal to 1. So the value of y is 1 and the value of x is 7. If you put the value of x in equation number 2, it will again give you the same value of y. Let me do it. We know that equation number 2 is x minus y is equal to 6, while the value of x is equal to 7. Hence putting x is equal to 7 in equation number 2. 7 minus y is equal to 6. Now minus y is equal to 6 minus 7. Or minus y is equal to minus 1. Minus and minus sign are cancelled out. As a result, we get again y is equal to 1. Thus we learn that either you put the value of x in equation number 1 or in equation number 2. It will always give you the same value of y.